Hi friends, welcome to my channel Ohm Electronics. In previous power supply episode, we discussed how to make a 24V DC variable power supply using LM317. Today, we are designing our own variable power supply which will provide regulated DC voltage ranging from 0 to 24 volt variable power supply using Arduino. In this project, we are going to make a buck converter circuit using Arduino and N channel MOSFET. Buck converter is a DC to DC converter. Key components of buck converter are MOSFET, either N channel or P channel, and high frequency square pulse generator. Arduino is used here as a pulse generator. 555 timer. IC can also be used for this purpose. The buck converter is a form of DC to DC converter that can take, a, take an input directly from a DC source such as battery. The input could also be DC derived from the AC mains via rectifier and capacitor circuit. The AC input to the rectifier circuit could be AC at high voltage directly from the AC mains or alternatively at a lower voltage via a step down transformer. However, the DC applied to the buck converter is, is obtained, it is then converted to a high frequency AC using a switching or chopper transistor. This results in a high frequency AC wave which can then be reconverted to DC in a such more efficient manner than would be possible in the in this circuit. In this figure, buck converter circuit consists of switching transistor or MOSFET together with the flywheel circuit that is diode, inductance and capacitance. While the transistor is on, current is flowing through this load via the inductor. The action of any inductor opposes changes in current flow and also act as a store of energy. In this case, the switching transistor output is prevented from increasing immediately to its peak value as the inductor stores energy taken from the increasing output. The stored energy is later released back into the circuit as a back EMF as current from the switching transistor is rapidly switched off. In this figure, when the transistor is switched on, it is supplying the load with the current. Initially current flow through the load is restricted as energy is also being stored in inductance that is L. Therefore the current in the load and the charge on the capacitor builds up gradually during on period. Throughout the on period there will be a large positive voltage across the diode. So the diode will be the reverse bias condition and therefore play no part in the action. So this is the current direction in this circuit. This is the current direction. When the transistor switch off as shown in, in this figure, the energy stored in the magnetic field around inductance is released back into the circuit. The voltage across the inductor, that is back MF, is now the reverse polarity. So this is the on, on time, the positive, positive and negative, and off time, this is the reverse polarity, this side is positive and this is the negative. The back EMF of inductance now causes current to flow around the circuit via the load and the diode. So current will be, will be flow through this direction. This is positive and this is negative. So in this direction through this load and capacitor. So this is the positive. So this is the current direction of the in this section.
here the diode d is now forward biased negative side is connected to the cathode terminal of this diode so this is the forward bias once the inductor has returned a large part of this stored energy to the circuit and load voltage begins to fall the charge stored in capacitor becomes the main source of the current keeping current flowing through the load until the next on period begins the overall effect of this circuit instead of large square of appearing across the load there means there remains only a ripple wave form that is a small amplitude high frequency wave with the dc level that is the v out is equal to input voltage that is v in into on period on time that is on period by total time period t so that is v in into on time t on by total time period that is t on plus t off we can calculate the output voltage through this formula so this is the main circuit diagram that we have designed and the circuit diagram is the dc to dc back converter here we have used the mosfet irf 540n and a inductance the value of this inductance 100 micro henry and capacitor 47 micro farad 63 volt and this is the arduino and the one terminal of the inductor is connected uh, to the source terminal of the mosfet and the another terminal of the inductor is connected with the load terminal this is the load here the load is connected in parallel in this circuit this capacitor connected in parallel uh, to the load this 24 volt this is the negative terminal and this is the positive terminal and this positive terminal connected the drain terminal of the mosfet this is the diode the cathode terminal and this is the anode terminal so the anode terminal that is positive terminal connected to the negative terminal of the fixed voltage that is 24 volt and the cathode terminal is connected to the source of the mosfet that is irf 540n and here the pwm pin we have used the pin number 6 of this arduino pin number 6 is connected uh, the gate terminal of the mosfet and here the 100k port we have used uh, variable port so one terminal connected to the 5 5 volt of the arduino and the other terminal connected to the negative terminal of the Arduino and the source of the MOSFET terminal, and the other terminal that is variable terminal of this port is connected the analog pin of the Arduino that is A one. Arduino sends the uh, clock pulse to the gate of the MOSFET. frequency of this clock pulse is approximate 65 kilohertz this causes very fast switching of the mosfet and we obtain an average voltage value and the mosfet we have used for two purposes number 1 for high speed switching of the output voltage and number 2 to provide high current with less dissipation of the heat and the inductor is used to control voltage spikes which can damage the mosfet and inductor store energy when the mosfet is on and release this store energy when mosfet is off since the frequency is very high value of this inductor for this purpose is very low that is 100 uh, micro henry and the function of this uh, diode the loop of the current 
when MOSFET is switched off and thus ensuring smooth supply of current to the load. The potentiometer used for a new value is, is mapped between 0 to 255 and then given to pin number 6 of the Arduino pin for PWM that is pulse with modulation. Noise at gate of the MOSFET can turn it on, hence to prevent this uh, from the happening, it is always advised to connect high value resistance between the gate and source terminal, that is 10K. Now practically we have designed in this circuit as per circuit diagram, so this is the input terminal this is the input terminal the positive terminal and this is the negative terminal and this is the output terminal here we have used the MOSFET IRF 540N and this is the 100 micro Henry inductance and this is the capacitor 47 microfarad 63 volt and this is the port variable port 100k port now we connect in this circuit with fixed voltage 24 volt and Arduino here we have used another power supply which gives 24 volt fixed 24 volt so this is the terminal positive terminal and negative terminal so it gives 24 volt 24.4 uh, volt 24.3 volt fixed dc voltage and we can control fixed dc 24 volt using this circuit now we connect this circuit with the Arduino board as per our circuit diagram. Now all over the code, this is the complete code of Arduino for generating high frequency pulse. So here we have explained only few parts of this code. Variable X is assigned the analog value that is received from analog pin A1 of this Arduino this is x is equal to analog read a1 the variable w variable w is assigned the mapped value which is between 0 to uh, 255 here the adc value of the Arduino are mapped from 2 to 255 and normal frequency of pwm the pin number 6 is approximate uh, 1 kilohertz this frequency is not suitable for purpose like buck converter hence this frequency must be increased to a very high level so this can be achieved using this line now upload this code done uploading the output of this circuit that is positive terminal negative terminal we connect the minimum value of load resistance that is 220 ohm, 220 ohm, 220 ohm that is 660 ohm only. So this is the positive terminal output of this terminal. So this is the out load, load resistance. This is the load resistance connect here only 6, 660 ohm. Now we measure the voltage between these two terminal using this multimeter now this is the zero voltage now here we can control this voltage from 0 to 224 volt using this potentiometer we can vary the position of this potentiometer from initial initial position to final position that is 100k 
now change this po potentiometer position so now 4.3 the maximum voltage we change the maximum input voltage we are getting the output voltage maximum that is 24 volt now this is the 16.8 this is the 19.9 now 20 22 23 now this is the 24.4 so the the input voltage that is 24.3 volt already measured now we can change with load only few resistance that is 660 ohm with load we can change this voltage fixed voltage from 0 to 24 volt without loading effect there is no voltage drop with load so the total circuit works accurately thank you